Okay, SP Game Years. Yeah. You're 11 here. And today, we got two boxes of 2021 SP Game Years Hockey. Featuring six NHL trading cards. In any given box, we should be expecting four hits, autograph, or relics. So we're not guaranteed autos in here, and we're not guaranteed patches in here from SP Game Years. Which is a far cry from what this product used to be. But on a typical year, SP Game Years is around, what, 115, 120 Canadian per box? I'll say it up front, these boxes cost 200 all in, so that's not too bad. I actually have another box coming at like 240. 40 or 250 Canadian that is so yeah the boxes are ground double of what they were last year but SP Game Use has a place in the hobby it's a unique memorabilia set it's not a big time hit hunting set there are some really nice stuff available in here in terms of hits but yeah it's more known to be not that high end of a set with some interesting hits that you can't find anywhere else and a couple things to note it's a 20 box case with two inners so big hits are tough to get considering it's a 10 box inner also Lafreniere's authentic rookies show Team Canada for whatever reason I know his draft day marks which is a desire card in here. That's the Rangers, obviously. But the big draw for me, why I'm opening three boxes, who today is, well, there's Danny Heatley in here. There's a lot of all-star content in here. You got Heater in here. Unfortunately, it's not an all-star card, but it's a draft day mark. Veteran card, so I'm really happy to see that. Heater's number to 10 there. The regular one's a number 35 for each letter, but yeah, SB Game Use. Let's open these up. Hoping for a patch card. Okay, SB Game Use. Oh, okay, SP Game Use should be one big pack here. It's just one pack with six cards in it. Yep, thick pack here. So let's open it up here. Okay, so I got the dramatic reveal decoy here. So here's the first card here. It's just a base. Oh, it's a base authentic rookies, Ole Levy. So here's the first card. Nice looking card there. Colorful. Got some gold there, gold foil there. These are the two ninety nine. There we go, Ole Levy. Next up here, what the heck is this? It's a really thick card here. It's Nikita Kucherov, number to one sixty five. The heck is this? Oh. There's a card behind it. Whoops, it's a base. These are the blue bursts. Nice looking card there. Got something behind it here, so... Oh, got Draft Day Marks 2017 pick number 14. So that's Cal Foot, right? Yep. Oh, look at that. That's not too bad. Cal Foot Draft Day Marks. 27 of 35. We got one of the O's. So there's Foot. Nice. And I already see the card under it. It's a Calvin Turkov. 11 of 65 patch there. He's already left. Yeah, so not a great card there. At least it's a patch. And yes, these are manufactured patches. So there's that. So there's Turkov. Just a two-color patch there. We have a couple more cards here. We got a... Let's see what we got here. Alex True. I think rookie's jersey. Not numbered. And the final card of the first pack. Bernie Nichols. Legends jersey. Game used piece there. of Bernie Nichols on the Devils. Huh. So there's the first box. I would actually say that's slightly above average. We got a patch. We got the draft day mark. So we got a patch and an auto so i would say that's an above average box right there for box number one let's open box number two here of sb game used i don't mind sb game used it has a place in the hobby again you're not getting this to get the big hits or hunt the top rookie cards of any given player so i mean the true rookies are nice but they're far down the line when it comes to desirable rookies so all right well this pack doesn't seem as thick so let's open it up here okay not looking here okay here's the first card here Oh, Victor Soderstrom, it's upside down. That's the 299 as well. Victor Soderstrom, authentic rookies. Oh, nice looking card there, Soderstrom. Finally, I have a different picture of him. So, there's that. Okay, Soderstrom. Next card up here, this might be another base, Philip Broberg. So, yeah, Philip Broberg, same picture of him though. Authentic rookies, the 299, number six. Broberg there. Let's take the card from the bottom here. Oh, Shea Weber, all star skills, seven time all star. That's a little star cutout there. Kind of reminds me of like early 2000s jersey cards there, but. There we go, that's not numbered there. Shows you where the jersey's from. It's from the 2020 HL All Star Skills Competition, so that's cool there. Uh, let's just do this. There we go. Oh, look at that. Quinn Hughes, first year All Star. A little one there for Quinn Hughes, the rookie there. All Star Skills piece. That's nice. Cool. And then we have what? Two cards here. One's thick and one's not. So should we do the not thick one first here? So who's that? Thomas. Thomas Harley, let's just reveal it here, bam. Okay, Thomas Harley, okay, what the heck is that last card? Cause this pack's been really rough. But there's Thomas Harley, authentic rookie's jersey. Former steelhead there. There you go, Thomas Harley. And whatever the heck this is, this is definitely the pull of the box. The box has been pretty rough. This card is rough. That's not good, who are you? Vlad Tarasenko. The, the 25, nice looking card. But geez, what the heck is with that though? <sighs> There you go, nice premium patch of Tarasenko there, four color, 25, so. That was a lackluster box, if I'm being completely honest. Definitely not a good box 
at all. Jeez. I'd say this product is definitely not worth it for the current price. Oh my gosh. So yeah, guys, there's two boxes of 2021 SB Game Use. First box was fine. It was slightly above average. There. We got a patch and an autograph. Second box, we just got some basic jersey cards. We got a patch that's banged up. And we got some base rookies. So yeah, there's SB Game Use. So yeah, and as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.